Kina Adnan, a C-shaped building with a wide open ground center that was built a few years ago. The name derived from a Cebuano word meaning wisdom, and yes, it stands by its name for it is a training ground of top notchers. Also, the building serves as a ground for memories to occur that helps students in enjoying their college life. One of my best memories of it happened last July 30, 2022, where I was still a freshman. I can remember the day started with a joyful sound coming from the Kina Admin stage. It was the start of Praise Jump. Although the weather was so hot, I can feel the heart of the people was on fire for the Lord. I can still remember the event and it leaves a smile every time I remember it. The day ended victoriously as we expected. Echo Park of Corona State University is a large connected landscape with high nature conservation and environmental protection ambitions. It is not just about preservation, but also about restoring nation conservation and the large-scale transformation of both social and environmental landscapes. And this part has been my first sanctuary to express myself as it reflects beauty, comfort, peace, and harmony. Echo Park was the place where my first in-person field laboratory activity happened, and it was a memorable one. As I remain is about the memories that happened in that place, I always feel joy. Let me share with you the reason why. Echo Park was the first setting where I was able to personally interact with my blackmates. As before, I did not have enough time to interact with others, especially every time we have a face-to-face -face examination, as I have to immediately go home because I live in a faraway place. Because of that, I feel proud of myself as I was able to talk and share some jokes with them comfortably. I was able to slowly open myself to others. Also, it was my first time to meet closely some of our instructors from that particular course as we spent most of the time in an online setting. We were able to learn face-to-face -face for the very first time after the long years of being held in our homes due to the pandemic. And that place has become our first stop to take a group photo of our blackmates with our instructors. And that picture that was taken is still with me. And I treasure those memories. My memorable moment. Carada State University's Harrison Bridge is the place that always comes to my mind. Since I started studying in CSU, I always pass this bridge when going to my classroom and when going home. These events made me realize that this landmark had seen me in my happiest and saddest days, ups and downs, and witnessed me grow throughout my journey. These moments became very important in shaping the man I am today. One memorable moment that happened in this place is the time that me and my friends take a picture wearing our togas. I finished my senior high school here at CSU. It's been hard, especially when COVID became rampant. So when our graduation came, we decided to go to this bridge and reminisce our memories together throughout our journeys. That's why my, mem my memorable moment happened in Harrison Bridge. Paraga State University is a beautiful place in my mind. I have a wonderful place in Caraga State University that made me happy a lot of times. But sometimes, I think that I am the only person who likes this place. Are you curious about this place? This place is the Oval of Caraga State University. It is a big place where my friends unwind. I used to go there to sit down on the grass and watch the athlete place. There were trees so big and the wind who keeps the place relaxing. I think that this place is meaningful to the people because they are natural and people can go there alone away from their stressful life. Here in the New Science Building or NSB where my classes often occur and where I've gained a lot of memories ranging from happy to absolutely awkward and embarrassing like what is happening right now. Anyways, when I auditioned for Kayam Ethnoban as a keyboardist together with a violinist, we practiced here at the center of the courtyard. We practiced here because we wanted to get rid of stage fright or at least manage it. And well, I played terribly. <laughs> I mean, at least we knew how it would or how it would go in the actual performance. But at least in the end, we met a lot of new people, a lot of people who play the same instruments and they play better than me. And I gained a lot of knowledge on how I could 
practice more on my technique and my way of playing.